Welcome back, everybody. We're back. Her name is Juno. <laughs> that it is. You are a Juno? It means nothing to me. Maybe I should, maybe I have asked the wrong question. What are you? What is your purpose? First, tell me what you are. Do you ask the hammer what the blacksmith is making? Are we also... Let's think respond. about that line for a second. Do you ask the hammer what the blacksmith is making? So, he is the hammer. Yes. Who is the blacksmith? That's, yeah, that's the question. I mean, they, they say again and again that the gods are dead, but I think this he is, is... not a god, he's a tool of the gods. I, exactly. That's, that's kind of what I'm hinting at. This conversation becomes more meaningless by the word. What do your prophecies say? The gods gave you prophecy, fate, destiny. Is there no child coming to slay me with a magic sword? Are there no stars in the sky foretelling this disaster? Do you truly not know? The gods are dead, right? That's, I mean, that's that is what we're fact. led to believe, that's, right? That's the fact that we have. Dead? How is that? Are, are you a god? No. The gods are silent, and before me stands one who knows not what they have done. Listen carefully now, for I will give you a prophecy. I am the end. Do you understand this world and this tapestry? I would devour. It is my purpose, but I cannot. Instead, now a wall of night to consume... Instead, now comes a wall of night to consume your pitiful world. Wall of night, the dredge? Dredge? Stone men marching across a long bridge? No, it is darkness, the egg white that has turned black. I am meant to devour the tapestry itself, not idly witness the dusk smother this rock. I am incomplete, a worm crawling through a dung field because of you. Who are you to take my destiny? What are you? Return what is mine. That's so, so cool. fucking awesome. So fucking cool, because I still have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I think one of the great things, too, is that he refers to the world as, as a tapestry that he chooses to devour. But tapestry is something that is a recurring theme. It's a banner. Exactly. Banner. The world is a banner. It's not about the town's banner. Avon. Juno? You're alive. You're alive! How? Wait, where are Wait, wait, where am I? Asleep, I presume. Or unconscious. I'm in Ridgehorn, I think. A serpent was trying to kill me, and now I'm talking to you. <laughs> time is moving strangely. I've lost swathes of memories. But I found you. For a short time, at least. The serpent said something about a long bridge, so I took a guess. It came after you. We, we saw it at Einertoft. Are you okay? It tried to turn me to ash after we spoke. I'd be surprised if that's the last we've seen of it. It could tear the land apart or crush cities if it wanted. What do we do? It gets worse. A prophecy of the gods that I've never heard of. There are still prophecies out there? It was vague. It sounded like the serpent was supposed to swallow the world. That's what uh, uh, Jorgvinder is supposed to do. He, he's the world serpent. Oh. He's supposed to devour the world at the end, and then Fenrir eats the sun, and the gods fight each other and die, and like that's the way the Norse prophecy was supposed to go. Right. Something has gone wrong. So some kind of darkness or nothingness is seeping from the north. It devours whatever it touches. That would explain why the dredge are swarming on us like someone kicked an anthill. Even are you in danger? You could say so. Bellower is here. <laughs> the Varl are holding him off, but not for much longer, I think. Of all the sunder, why the immortal one? <laughs> Bellower, that is the worst of all. <laughs> so the Sunder, they used the Sunder originally to describe just the dredge. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's used both collectively and it's used to indicate like, I, I want to say like dredge, not nobility, but like hmm. legends, heroes, if you will. Because oh. they talk about Ivor having killed the uh, female one. Right, right. Maybe her power was being able to produce more Dredge? There are lots of dredge, though, so it's not like they're a dying No, race. but they, they don't always use Sunder to describe uh, all the oh, dredge. this is speculative. I want to know more. <laughs> Listen closely. I will return to Strand and find passage down the Red River. You must leave Unertoft and meet me in Sigurholm. We'll never make it to Sigurholm. Bellower is about to overtake us. The bar won't listen to a thing. I find a way. Do whatever it takes. I will not be able to contact you again before Sigurholm. Go. And Avend, I love you. That's a surprisingly tender finisher there. You think they're like co-workers, like master and student, but maybe they're not. Maybe they are. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a nice touch, too. Yeah. Uh, it sort of, I feel like it justifies his freaking out about leaving yeah, her Yeah, because it's not just that she's like important to the fate of the world or anything. It's also like, you know, they love each other. So there's that. And even it, at the edge of the world, when everything's falling apart, yes. it doesn't matter. He still wants her. Yes. You were out for a couple of days. How do you feel? Juno, she's alive. I need to meet her in Sigurd Home. Hold on, hold on, slow down. Who's Juno? She's my mentor on the Mender Council. She contacted me. Contacted you how? She's not like most Menders. So wait, hang on. My question is, is she a corpse all of the time? Because when they told that when they told him that she was dead initially, he didn't seem like surprised or anything. He was just like, we have to go back. Is she just like a, a dead body that he has to like cart around weekend at Bernie style? Oh. Like, what is she? She's not like most menders. That line tells us that that interaction that they just had, that's normal. That's normal for her. 
she normally just like disembodies herself and then goes but, spirit walking. But and at talks the same time, the when 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 they said that she was dead, yeah, he also. He wasn't like, oh no, the world's lost. He was like, we gotta go back. Well, I think I think what what he wanted was to to revive her. Um, but eventually, they convinced him that there was no going back. That she was okay. totally lost. Of all of the Sunder, why the immortal one? Yeah, and yeah. then the line just shortly after, she's not like most Menders. What if the Menders' power is like a mirror of the Dredge heroes? There's an immortal one, so there's an immortal one. You think that's the case? I don't know, man! <laughs> I, it could be. I'm trying to assign rules to something that doesn't appear to have any, and that's the... Mm. I mean, uh, I mean, the other consideration let's is... Let's just fucking collapse the bridge. How could you collapse the bridge by yourself? Uh, it's, I need your help. The VAR will try to stop me. Let's just... <clears> what <throat> What do we do about... I don't... Juno could stop him. Okay, that's good. It's... Um, why won't he destroy the bridge? Well, we talked about this in the last episode. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, a, it's a legacy question. It'll let the city and the rest of the world fall before that damn bridge. At least, that's what it, it seems seems to be the case, right? Here we go, here we go, here we go. You know how men and Varl were made, the loom mother, the other gods. In the first great war, the armies of men and Varl hated each other. They fought bitterly for land and dominance. Then one of the gods created the dredge, and they were such a threat that unless men and Varl set aside their differences, they threatened to wipe out both races. So they did. They ended the war, they pushed the dredge into the north and formed an alliance that's held ever since. The second great war began generations later. The dredge rallied their forces, defeated the Varl who watched the borders, and laid waste to unsuspecting settlements throughout the world. They were led by Sunder, powerful dredge uh, warlords and weavers okay. like Bella. He was there in the Second Great War. Humanity was on the brink of extinction when the inner circle of Menders went forth and finally sent the Sunder and the Dredge deep underground. For the most part, the Dredge haven't tried to return since. Well, until now, the Menders were called Valka. Juno wasn't there herself, but she's from their bloodline. So Juno is an exceptionally powerful Mender of the Valka bloodline. The Sunder are the warlords of the Dredge. And yeah. so they're, they're, they are named there specifically. Right. <sighs> Another great war has begun. If I didn't think the world was ending, it would be incredible. Ancient history is playing out before us. What about the serpent? That, that's another story. There's nothing in the Mender's libraries about that thing. It must have something to do with the dredge returning. I need time to think about this. There has to be... I can't believe the dredge would be so stubborn. Speak to Jerunder. Hate to put all this in your shoulders. We'll have to make it to say your home. Okay, so we gotta break the bridge. We gotta get out of town. We gotta defeat Bellower. There's, like, a lot of shit we gotta do. So let's destroy the bridge. Let's not even talk to him. Let's just let's just fucking do it. <laughs> it's yeah, a waste we're ready. Time, yeah. Like, why not? I'm, he's just gonna tell us no, and then we're gonna do it anyway. So here we go. Um, I will not. Oh, I obviously can't use Ivor because he is out, uh, down and out. Um, I think I have to use Avon because he's strong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I use Oddly first? No, I think I use him before. Or I'm gonna give even them, has to be last. Even has yeah because they have to have time to get into position. I'm gonna use a let because uh, I don't know having another archer in that last fight might have been useful. I Ooh, wish wait, I wish wait, now I done. Have, we also have an item. I have enough to promote Krumer. Ooh fuck yeah do that. I'm gonna do that. Do that. Do I'm that. gonna give him the armor break, yeah. and then I'm going to oh let's give do. him yeah oh so now he's basically just our he's Ivor he's our he's our armor breaker. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll give whatever. You can have your you can have your thing. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. I don't, I don't just just take take your thing. It's fine. Do do shoot your arrows or whatever. I don't I don't give a shit. Yeah, I, I actually I thought you had to speak Jesus. to the Varl King before you destroyed the bridge, but <laughs> no. <laughs> guess not. I've actually never gone down this path. I've never destroyed the bridge. You've never destroyed the bridge? I have no idea what to expect out of this. I destroy the bridge every time, because it's the easiest like way to get from point A to point B. You just, really? You, you just do you know what happens if you don't destroy the bridge? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I don't think so, I've ever done it. So what happens if you don't de destroy the bridge, and you you just like... You Are leave. we good to get into this fight, or do you want to save it for the next one? Uh, we've got a minute. So save it for the next one. We, we can at least get it started. Yeah, sure. Um, but... So what happens if you don't destroy the bridge? You yeah. just leave. Yeah. And what happens is, is if the dredge follow you, they actually leave the bridge. Oh, that's <laughs> and, cool. And the Varl King goes, I told you not to destroy the bridge because I knew this would happen. <laughs> that they would just follow you? That's kind of awesome. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I guess. Um... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, 10,000-year-old oh, dre uh, Varl relic. Uh... Eh, they'll make it this one. seems expedient. <laughs> <laughs> eh, they'll make another one. I like that too. That's that's good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a trap here, just for anyone who might waltz over it at some point casually. I, I love all of the like the mixed carcasses. Yeah, in the right. Back. That it's it's not just any one group. It's everybody. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just break this man. 
consider yourself a broken. How do they destroy the bridge? Is it Avon? Avon blows it up, yeah. He does oh, okay. some kind of like resonance thing. With magic. Like, yeah, magic. I can do anything with it except <laughs> what you need me to do right now, apparently. <laughs> except heal our damn people on the battlefield. Right? Except he can heal armor. Hey, hey. Who the fuck cares about that? Um, thread the needle is not useful. No, not right now. Um, wow. Let... I hate to be the one to break this to you, but Man. you are a garbage character. You are trash garbage. I'm going to deal exactly two damage because that is what Krumer can do to you. And he will <laughs> kill you once I'm done. Well, at least this means that that other dredge has to hit that trap. That's a good point. To hit that's anyone. That's a good point. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to suggest. And... Uh, is oh. anyone down armor? I guess not. No one's down. You were going to suggest Maybe arc lightning, right? Lightning? Well, I was going to say mend the uh, armor, but... Fuck it. I'm just going to... Let's yeah. see if anything good happens. Mm. Oh, there are none of those... Uh... No, nothing good happened. He just took four damage. Cool. This, that ability sucks. I know Holy it, cow. Well, see, here's the thing. I know it can be used very, very well. Yeah, okay. It's just... I don't know how. Like, it doesn't do it, me anything. Any, anytime it seems like we might have a good diagonal setup... It, it doesn't happen. It's, it doesn't work. It's it's also counterintuitive because it says it has to be diagonal setup, right? Yeah. The board is naturally diagonal because yeah. it's tilted. Yeah, because uh, it's an isometric view. I exactly. Right? So, I mean, obviously it means diagonal in the sense of points yes. of the squares touching sure. each other. But, like, it's... It's not like that. It doesn't work. It doesn't work how it should. Yeah, it's, it's just... It's frustrating. Yeah. I wish it worked the right way, because I would use that ability. It sounds cool. Okay, now there's absolutely no way that if I do it on this guy, it doesn't hit those two, because that is, that's that's a diagonal, right? Like, that's what they're looking for. Okay, you, I'm going to move up here. You are going to kill this man. You must not nice. take him. Very nice. Here we go. All right, well, should we pick this up in the next episode? Yeah, we'll pick it up in the next episode. So we'll, we'll finish up this fight next time, guys. Uh, it's going to be a long one, so... Buckle up. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, question uh, of the day. Speaking of relationships between characters, uh, what ways are are really effective uh, for them to show uh, the history that two people have between them? Because we, we talked about there's like, for some of them, it's, well, for all of them, it's dialogue because it's a very heavy dialogue driven mm -hmm. game. But in some cases, it's dialogue that you get in the cutscenes. In other cases, it's dialogue that you get... Uh, through those like weird little like adventure scenarios that come up when you're on the road, um, yeah. So I, I guess the question is like, w in what ways have they been showing us the relationships a lot of these characters have with one another? And, yeah. In what ways do you think are the most successful? Sure. Uh, and in what other ways are le less successful? Maybe what two what two characters' relationship do you completely not understand? Right. And the whole reason we're asking this question is because of the one line of dialogue between Juno and Avend, yeah. where it's just the I love the you. parting I love. And it's it totally changes the tone. So it begs the question of how do these other characters establish their relationships to the player? Yeah. So leave a comment, like, and subscribe. It helps us out. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.